I'm Mary Murray, Captain Curator here at Munson Williams Proctor Arts Institute in fabulous Utica, New York. Today I'm talking about an exhibition that's only on view until August 26. The show is called Modern Sensibilities in Japanese Landscape Traditions. The show was organized by Dr. Laura Mueller and is sponsored by the Matt Law Firm and we thank them both very sincerely. Japan was essentially closed to the West until the late 1860s. After that time, there was a lot of trade and artistic exchange. So we see going back and forth the influence of Japanese art on Americans and Europeans, but also the influence of Western art to Japanese artists. This is a beautiful woodcut print by Hiroshi. It was made in 1935, and if you compare it to a similar subject by Hiroshige from the earlier century, from the 19th century, you'll see that the cherry trees here, for instance, are much more naturalistically rendered than the pattern and design that we see in the earlier image. The artist has created a gray, rainy kind of day and has used a very delicate and subtle palette to create an entire atmosphere that will envelop these two small figures with their parasols here. You also notice that the space in this image is much more in the Western tradition, whereas we understand the foreground to be here at the bottom of the page, and the artist uses a kind of point perspective to make the eye feel like we are moving back in space. In the 19th century woodcut, you would have seen that imagery that is at the top of the composition would have been understood as being farther away, a much flatter idea of pictorial space. The artist here has also tried to create a very naturalistic sense of the water, the play of water creating these ripples and the quality of rain falling upon it. Much more naturalistic than the kinds of devices that the 19th century artists used. This particular image and others like it were produced in the early part of the 20th century and they represent to a certain degree a nostalgic look at Japanese life. Almost a backward look at Japan as the country became increasingly industrialized. This particular body of work was very popular both in the country but also very successfully sold abroad as well. I'm Mary Murray and this is Outside the Frame.